Hi right, guys. <laughs> uh, hopefully I put some stuff in that darkness there. But hey, what's up, guys? This is Do You Want to Build a Brony here, and I am ready to do the season two finale of My Little Pony: Friendship Is Magic. Now, I was going to do that stupid rhyme thing <laughs> that I did in the and in, in the first final I did, but then after looking over it, I found that it was really, really bad. So I'm not gonna do it. Unless it's a popular demand kind of thing, which I highly doubt it will be, I will probably do one for season three because I was recently informed, okay, recently informed that season three is in fact only 13 episodes. Uh, when I was, when I saw like, like the episode list on Netflix that had season one, two, and three on it, <clears throat> and when I got and when I looked at season three, it only had like 13 episodes in it. So I thought Netflix didn't get all the episodes for that, and I was hoping they'll get all the episodes by the time I got there. But it turns out it's supposed to be like that. And also for all you guys who love My Little Pony on uh, and like to watch it on Netflix, I I've been on Netflix and I saw they had new episodes on it, and I checked. Season 4 is there. Season 4 is in there. Don't worry, I didn't go to the thing itself. I just saw that Season 4 was there. So, for those who want to get their My Little Pony fix, it's now on Netflix. Oh, wow. Fix Netflix. So that's what it's there for. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to stall this any longer. We're just going to get this started. Now, my friend is probably far the smartest man to ever walk the My Little Pony fan base. Why? Because <laughs> this dude here is very, very clever. Not only did he get the episodes for me, not only did he change all the episodes' uh, thumbnails to just either a black screen or the title, no, or the logo of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, but he also made sure to put a season finale folder with nothing more than the season finale of season two of My Little Pony. And he also changed the title. You know how when you click once and then click again on a on a video on a video title thing, you can change it. He just changed it to season two finale. So I can't even like look at the title and give my first impressions because I don't even know the title. I'm literally straightforward blind on this. I don't even have my own flashlight or or a, or a match with me. So <sighs> this is how it gotta be this is gonna be really good. I'm just I'm guessing. So we're gonna get this started now in approximately three, two, one, now. Strongest butterflies in the world, or at least in Fluttershy standards. It is gorgeous out. Just gorgeous. <laughs> that jump. Fly. 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 Hi, Spike. Let me just give him a moment. <laughs> oh. Dear Twilight, I am sure you are as excited as I am about the upcoming wedding in Canterlot. Wedding? Cool. I will be presiding over the ceremony, but would very much like you and your friends to help with the preparations for this wonderful occasion. Fluttershy, I would like you and your songbird choir to provide the music. Oh my goodness, what an honor. Very. Pinkie Pie, I can think of no one more qualified than you to host the reception. <laughs> Applejack, All day, every day. you will be in charge of the catering for the reception. Well, color me, please, Des Punch. Rainbow Dash. I would very much appreciate it if you could perform a sonic rain boom as the bride and groom complete their I do. Oh, yeah. Yes! Got, got, got Baby, her attention. You will be responsible for designing the dresses for the bride and her bridesmaids. Princess Celestia wants me to have a wedding dress for a cantaloupe wedding. I Derpy Rarity. And as for you, Twilight. You will be playing the most important role of all, making sure that everything goes as planned. Organization. See you all very soon. Yours, Princess Celestia. Who's getting married? <laughs> but I don't understand. Who's getting married? Thank you. Oh, wait. 
Uh, I was probably supposed to give you this one ah, first. That's how you were informed. Princess Celestia cordially invites you to the wedding of Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Oh, another princess! My brother? My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. Magic and makes it all complete. We are mine. Do you know you're all my very best friend? Twilight has a brother. <laughs> Would have been informed of this sooner, but why not? Why not? <laughs> Your brother's getting married. Cool. Congratulations, Twilight. That's great news. <laughs> yeah. Great news <laughs> that I just got from a wedding invitation, not from my brother, but from a piece of paper. This is better than a text message. Shining armor. <laughs> I mean, shining armor. He couldn't tell me personally. Hey, Twilight, just thought you should know I'm making a really big decision that changes everything. Oh, never mind. You'll hear about it when you get the invitation. <laughs> and Trollestia doesn't tell Twilight about it until the day it happens. What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, another princess again. <laughs> Are you okay? But why a princess? Why not a queen? Why not anything else? I've always been so close. He's my BBBFF. <laughs> Big brother best friend forever? Oh! Alright. Before I came here and learned the importance of friendship, Seriously. Shining Armor was the only pony I ever really accepted as a friend. Cool. Ooh, song. I'm still trying to rack my brain. Oh, Billy Twilight. Didn't know that I would ever need other ponies to make my life complete. But there was one cult that I cared for. I knew he would be there for me. Huh. My big I like his mane. Best friend forever. Like two pieces. No, I forget it. I like a design overall. I would love to see those two seconds in the first episode. Your big brother, best friend forever. Like two peas in a pod, you did everything together. And though he's oh so far away, I hope that he would stay. My big brother, best friend forever. Forever. These songs, man. Has one of your PFFs? Pony's friend forever. Pony friends forever. I got that one. I want to tell you that I think your brother sounds like a real good guy. He is pretty special. I mean, they don't just let any pony be captain of the Royal Guard. I would love to know that too. So let me get this straight. We are helping out with the wedding of not only a princess. But a captain of the royal guard? I guess we are. <laughs> awesome! So we got confirmation of a brother and a new princess. Can you say best wedding ever? Yay! Awesome. So you all get to help with a big fancy wedding, but I'm the one who gets to host the bachelor party. I have just one question. What's a bachelor party? <laughs> Something you shouldn't throw. <laughs> Why the long face, Sugar Q? I'm just thinking about shining armor. Ever since I moved to Ponyville, we've been seeing each other less and less. I haven't seen him at all. <laughs> Starting a new family with this Princess Mia More, what's her name? Cadenza. We'll probably never see each other. Come on now. You're his sister. He'll always make time for you. Couldn't seem to make time to tell me he was getting married. Yeah, or Celestia, apparently. You know, because you did kind of meet her yesterday. Yeah, I knew something was up. Why the, why the shield? Private wedding. Make sure it's private. Whoa! What's with all the guards? I'm sure they're just taking the 
necessary precautions. Royal weddings do bring out the strangest ponies. <laughs> Exhibit A. We've got work to do. And you've got a big brother to go congratulate. Yeah, congratulate. And then give him a piece of my mind. Should we stop her? Nah. <laughs> Something's gotta be up, Celestia's looking out for something. I've got something to say to you, mister. Twily! Oh, <laughs> mister kid, how was the train ride? Twily. How dare you not tell me in person that you were getting married? I'm your sister for pony's sake. <laughs> it's not my fault. Princess Celestia has requested a major increase in security. Didn't you see all the guards at the train station? Trust me, you couldn't meet, yeah, you couldn't miss them. There's a big wedding coming up. Maybe you heard about it? It has nothing to do with the wedding. Oh. A threat has been made against Canterlot. Oh. We don't know who's responsible for it, but Princess Celestia asked that I help provide additional protection. This, you need to see. Oh, so he's doing that. Dude, he's got to have, like, tons of magical potential. If you can do something like that. The burden of keeping Canterlot safe and secure rests squarely on my shoulders. Staying focused on the task at hand has been my top priority. I like him already. He, he has a good personality. Seems like a good brother so far. You've got a really important job protecting all of Canterlot with a force field only you can conjure up. Well, you can conjure up one, too. Still... How could you not tell me about something as big as your wedding? Am I not that important to you anymore? Aw, oh, don't do that. Hey, you're my little sister. Of course you're important to me. But I'd understand if you didn't want to be my best mare now. <laughs> you want me to be your best mare? Well, yeah. I'd be honored. Aww. I still pretty ticked you're marrying some pony I don't even know. When did you even meet this? Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Oh, you remember this Twilight. time. Princess Miyamore Cadenza is Cadence, your old foal sitter. Don't know her either. <laughs> As in the Cadence? As in the greatest foal sitter in all the history of foal sitters? <laughs> cool. You tell me. She was your foal sitter. Nice. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Flashback! This is only the most amazing pony ever. She's beautiful. She's caring. Aww. She's kind. I am so lucky to have you as my full sitter. And she's a princess already. Twilight? <laughs> You're a princess. Cool. I'm just a regular old unicorn. So I don't know how you those are, are made. Anything but a regular old unicorn. Sunshine, sunshine, lady lies awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. <laughs> I would say that would get annoying if it's a recent thing, if it's a constant thing, but that's what I said about the opening. <laughs> <laughs> How many unicorns can just spread love wherever they go? I only know of one. And you're marrying her. I'm gonna bring it up. You're marrying Cadence. You're marrying Cadence. <laughs> hey, Cadence. I hope I'm not interrupting anything important. Well, someone's got a buck up her butt. Sunshine, sunshine, <laughs> ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. What are you doing? Cadence, it's me. That's a weird position. Twilight. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> Somebody's changed over time. Back to my station, but Cadence will be checking in with all of you to see how things are going. I think I speak for both of us when I say we couldn't be more excited to have you here, right, dear? Absolutely. Well, we'll let you get to it. She's probably evil. Who knows? <laughs> Cadenza. Oh yeah, she's Hi, evil. Princess Miyamore Cadenza, you come to check out what's on the menu for your big day? I have. Okay, let's not jump to conclude. Jump to conclusion, she's evil. Yes, I love, love, love them. 
She's evil. She's evil. Yep. That confirms it. That confirms it. Thumbs up. Oh, now, now, now you're just pushing it. Did you see what she? You guys saw that too, right? Obviously, you already probably saw this like a billion times. Oh, you should have seen how she acted back there. I don't know when she changed, but she changed. Please, call me Princess Miyamore Cadenza. <sighs> Did I hear someone say my name? Yes. Goodness, let me just start by saying what an honor it is to play a role in such a momentous occasion. <laughs> uh huh. Is my dress ready? Oh, uh, uh, yes, of course. Um, I've been working on it ever since I was given the assignment, and I think you'll be pleased with the results. <laughs> I was hoping for something with more beating and a longer train. Oh. oh, yes, of course. And those should be a different color. I think they're lovely. Me too. I love them. <gasps> Lyra Tux! Make them a different color. Cool! Gee, maybe her name should be Princess Demandy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The dance? No, oh my god. I think this reception is gonna be perfect, don't you? Perfect. If we were celebrating a six year old's birthday party. <gasps> Thank you! <laughs> I think that's what she was aiming for. <gasps> Luna! <laughs> yeah! Princess my sister. The Princess of the Night has returned! And now she's gone! <laughs> Bet I can guess what you're all thinking. Cadence is the absolute worst bride to be ever. Yes, and also she's evil. Who oh, me? Spock. That goes on the cake. <laughs> Twilight. Whatever are you talking about? Cadence Sometimes I really hate my eyes. Gem. Rarity. She was so demanding. And also she had a green aura. The very best on her wedding day. You know. Applejack. Did you know that after she told Weird. you how much she just love, love, loved your hors d'oeuvres, she threw them in the trash? Oh, she was probably just trying to spare my feelings. No, she was just being fake and totally insincere. Pretty much. She did raise her voice at one of my birds during rehearsal. See? Rude! <laughs> but he was singing really off-key. Stop. <laughs> Pinkie Pie, you had to have noticed how Cadence treated... <laughs> 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 Never mind. Okay. Rainbow Dash, you're with me, right? Sorry, Twy. Been too busy prepping for my sonic rain boom to pay much attention to the bride's bad attitude. Right. <gasps> the princess is and your self-refilling cup I'm agrees. Sure any negative behavior she might be Glass. displaying is simply the result of nerves. And I'm sure it's the result of her being an awful pony who doesn't deserve to even know Shining Armor, let alone marry him. Think maybe you're being just a tiny bit possessive of your brother? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe a bit. I am not being possessive, and I am not taking it out on Cadence. You're all just too caught up in your wedding planning to notice that maybe there shouldn't even be a wedding. Or notice that her aura is different from when she was younger. You know, blue aura one time, green aura the next, obviously something's wrong. <laughs> Unless the aura changes with emotion. If you're kind-hearted, it's this color, but if you're mean, it's another color. Huh. Everything okay? We need to talk. I think you're making a big... <clears throat> oh, uh, hi, sweetie. <laughs> she sure has a way of sneaking up on people. For some reason, that felt like a forced for sweetie. Moment, dear. And that felt like a, a forced deer. I thought I made it perfectly clear I didn't want you to wear that. This was my favorite uncle's. And your favorite uncles. That means you have more than one. Wear it. Are you disagreeing with me? I guess I am. <sighs> oh dear. Are you getting another one of your headaches? Yeah, but the other ones probably don't like you. Then. Evil. Feeling better. Evil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Evil. She isn't just unpleasant and rude. She's downright evil. Downright evil. Uh, Twilight. Let her go. Huh. The only proof I have is with the aura. Something else you wanted to tell me. 
Who goes there? Stay indoors, Twilight Sparkle. Shining armor's in real trouble. All right. Dresses? What are you? Can you believe it? We're gonna be Princess Mia Mori Cadenza's new bridesmaids. New bridesmaids? What happened to her old bridesmaids? She didn't say. She killed them. But she did tell us that she would love, love, love it if we'd fill in for them. Seeing as we've been working so hard and everything. And you had your doubts about her. Told you she was an absolute gem. You sure this is what I should wear? Doesn't seem very Doesn't aerodynamic. Seem all that aerodynamic. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Me and you on the same page on that. This is so exciting. I know, this is <laughs> Looks like I really am on my own. Perfect, girls. No need to rush. Then, of course, Cadence will enter. I'll say a few words, and then we'll begin with the vows. Shining Armor, you'll get the ring from your best mare. Right. You have to practice. You don't want to mess up. You? I do! Spike! I'm serious! Has anybody seen Twilight? I'm here. Hi, Twilight. I'm not gonna stand next to her, and neither should you. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why she's acting like this. Maybe we should just ignore her. Mm. You have to listen to me. Oh goodness, are you okay? I'm Doesn't fine. Look like it. Yeah, sure about that. I've been something. <laughs> she's evil. Okay, Twilight, I, I understand your plight, but innocent until proven guilty. Proof. Horrible to my friends. She's obviously done something to her bridesmaids. And if that wasn't enough, I saw her put a spell in my brother that made his eyes go all... <laughs> Guys, don't do this in a wedding. You will get kicked out. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Because you're evil. <laughs> evil! And if I don't stop you, you're gonna ruin my brother's life! Jeez. You want to know why my eyes went all... <sighs> because ever since I started having to perform my protection spell, I've been getting terrible migraines. Uh. Cadence hasn't been casting spells on me, she's been using her magic to heal me. And she decided to replace her bridesmaids because she found out the only reason they wanted to be in the wedding was so they could meet Canterlot royalty. Oh, Lyra. And if she hasn't been on her best behavior with your friends, it's because with me being so busy, she's had to make all the decisions about the wedding. I was just trying to... She's completely stressed out because it's really important to her that our big day be perfect. Something that obviously wasn't important to you. <sighs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and comfort my bride. And you can forget about being my best mare. In fact, if I were you, I wouldn't show up to the wedding at all. Come on, y'all. Let's go check on the princess. Oh. I you have a lot to think about. Oh! Hit with the brother, yeah, friends, and teacher. I could have gained a sister, but instead, I just lost a brother. He was my big brother, best friend forever. And now we'll never do anything together. Sorry. You will be. You know, for kids. Uh Oh man. Hello? Oh, that was the end of the first part. <laughs> I want to, like, give off my, like, little side review of that, but I, I need to continue. Where am I? The caves beneath Canterlot, once home 
to greedy unicorns who wanted to claim the gems that could be found inside. And now, you're a prison. Shh. Help! Help! Okay. <laughs> it's no use. No one can hear you. And no one will ever think to look for you either. Most ponies have forgotten that these caves even exist. Which is why they are the ideal place to keep the ones who try to interfere with my plans. <laughs> okay, it turns out she's been planning this for a long time. That the plans I have for your brother, of course. Or Don't her eyes shit. changed, so my brother, you probably corruption. Only way to stop me is to catch me. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> nope. Over here. Ah, it's what? Oh, wait. No, wait! <laughs> Please, don't hurt me. Shape shifting. That, that's don't another. That's okay. Me. Please, you have to believe me. Whoever this is, the shape shifter. Like you, the cadence who brought you down here was an imposter. Likely story. It is a story. Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and, and do a little shake. Huh? <laughs> You remember me? Of course I do. How could I forget the filly I love to sit for the most? Okay, okay. But I pretty much called that she was evil. Come on, blue aura one in the in the flashback, green aura this time. Eh. We have to stop her. If something was up. But why Mary? Ch Ooh, sorry, song. Hold on. Pony will gather round, see I look lovely in my gown. What they don't know is that I have fooled them all. This day was going to be perfect. The kind of day of which I dreamed since I was small. But instead of having cake with all my friends to celebrate my wedding bells, they may not ring for me at all. I could care less about the dress. I won't partake in any cake. Vows will all be lying when I say that through any kind of weather, I'll want us to be together. The truth is, I don't care for him at all. No, I do not love the groom. In my heart, there is no room. But I still want him to be all mine. I must escape before it's too late. Find a way to save the day. I'll be lying if I say I don't fear that I may lose him To one who wants to use him Not care for love and cherish him each day For I also love the groom All my thoughts he does consume Oh, shining armor I'll be there very soon Gentle Colts, we are gathered here today to witness the union of Princess that was incredible. and oh, We're never going to save him. We will. We just have to find... There! You're not going anywhere. Oh, well, that's where they went. Princess Cadence and Shining Armor. Mm. It is my great pleasure to pronounce you. Stop! Yes, again! This time it's Ugh. gonna be good. Why does she have to be so possessive of her brother? <laughs> Why 
Why does she have to ruin my special day? Yeah, right. <laughs> because it's not your special day. It's mine. That's right. What? But how did you escape my bridesmaids? You're really selling the whole I'm I'm the real one here. <laughs> Hey, catch it! Then it might be your turn to get married. I think that's what that's supposed to represent. Clever, but you're still too late. I, I don't understand. How can there be two of them? She's a changeling. She takes the form sure. of some pony you love and gains power by feeding off your love for them. Oh, okay. What better to do that but in a wedding? <laughs> right, you I'm sorry. Are a princess and a queen of the changelings. Oh, a queen! To find food for my subject. Finally! Equestria has more love than any place I've ever encountered. My fellow changelings will be able to devour so much of it that we will gain more power than we have ever dreamed of. Wow. They'll never get the chance. Shining Armor's protection spell will keep them from ever even reaching us. <laughs> oh, I doubt that. Isn't that right, dear? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, uh. Don't want to go back to the caves now, do you? You know, hundreds of other pony around, not doing anything. Feeding off Shining Armor's love for you. Every moment he grows weaker, and so does his spell. Even now, my minions are chipping away at it. How did she not notice these guys? <laughs> they must have just showed up. He may not be my husband, but he is under my total control now. What you're trying to say is, if, even if he was, he would still be under your control. Unable to perform his duties as captain of the royal guard. <laughs> captain. Armor. Soon, my changeling army will break through. First, we take Canterlot, and then all of Equestria. No, you won't. <laughs> oh, yes! This is what I'm talking about! impossible for Shining Armor to perform his spell. <coughs> but now that you have... Oh, man, my heart is pumping right now. ...your true self. I... That's right! ...subjects... Ooh! ...from you! That's right! Show who's got! What the buck? <sighs> Shining Armor's love for you is even stronger than I thought. I don't care if you got all the love from every pony in Equestria. That shouldn't have happened. The elements of harmony. You must get to them and use their power to defeat the queen. Right, because the Deus Ex Machina is the only way to win. Ah. Are y'all are y'all are y'all really? <laughs> <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> 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 huh? Upgrades. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Right, changelings. How did you I think things just got 20% cooler, if you know what I mean. Oh man, they're actually fighting! Hold on! <laughs> of course. I would love to see Twilight, uh, I mean, Flesh Eye go ham though. Of course. Okay, this is just getting weird! 
Only fight yourselves. Oh, that's not gonna help much. <laughs> Especially when there's hundreds of them. And you actually comply. Eh, I've seen better. <laughs> awesome. Smarter than they look. <laughs> oh man, y'all actually lost! Oh, come on. Come on, Celestia. Sir. Uh. Will... <laughs> Apparently not. You were saying. <laughs> You do realize the reception's been cancelled, don't you? Hey, they brought Go them here. Shut up. <laughs> it's funny, really. Twilight here was suspicious of my behavior all along. So was I. Too bad but you know. if you were too caught up in your wedding planning to realize those suspicions were correct. <laughs> Sorry, Twa. We should have listened to you. Too late for that it's now. Your fault. She fooled every pony. Mm, I did, didn't I? Oh, another song. I'm not that stoked. This day has been just perfect. The kind of day of which I've dreamed since I was small. Eesh. Every pony I'll soon control. Every stallion, mare, and foal. Who says a girl can really have it all? <laughs> God. Go to him while you still have the chance. Some guards. I mean... Sure, why not? Where... Huh? Is, is the wedding over? It's all over. Your spell. Perform your spell. <laughs> what good would that do? My changelings already roam free. That is no. true. Not only that, he's a little too weak to do anything. Now. I don't have the strength to repel them. She did take My like all of your love. Give you strength. <laughs> what a lovely but absolutely ridiculous sentiment. You know, you can always do something about. No, never mind. Of how Cadence achieved flowing main status. Well, it's not taste the rainbow, but the power of love. Team Rocket's blasting off again! Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Yeah, sorry excuse you for a princess. To put together. <clears throat> I'm sure you gave it your all, but... Thank you. 
their par parents are there. That's great. Oh, perfect! Derpy! Seriously, though, I get why the Queen of the Changelings wanted to be with you, but how did you get someone as amazing as Cadence to marry you? I told her she wouldn't just be gaining a husband, she'd be getting a pretty great sister, too. Oh, well, that's shallow. <laughs> Gentle Colts, we are gathered here today to celebrate the union of the real Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Princess Cadence is fine. Hmm. The union of Princess Cadence and Shining Armor. The strength of their commitment is clear. The power of their love undeniable. May we have the rings, please? <laughs> I now pronounce you Mayor and Colts. Wow, okay. <laughs> I can already tell those are gonna get annoying to wear on your horns. This is your victory as much as theirs. You persisted in the face of doubt, and your actions led to your being able to bring the real Princess Cadence back to us. Would have helped if you guys, you know, <laughs> believed her, but yeah. It's a valuable lesson to learn. Ah. <laughs> Rainbow Dash, that's your cue. Wow, she did that in like 2.3 seconds. Best wedding ever! It's dark matter over here. I can't stop saying that. <laughs> Hello, every pony. Where have you been? <laughs> Think it would have been great? You know, let's get this party started. Final. <laughs> but seriously, None of this would have been possible without you, little sis. Love you, Twilight. Mm. Love you too, BBBFF. <laughs> Ready to go? Oh, almost forgot. It's mine! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that, that's supposed to represent, if you catch that, you're destined to be married next. I don't know. I haven't been to many weddings, so... You're a little late for it, but sure. Awesome. Well, guys, that was the Season 2 finale of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, and I will have to say that that was one of the best finals I've seen, and I've only seen two. <laughs> but, let me get on to the things that I like about it. One, a wedding concept is amazing, it's good, it's original, in my, in my taste at least, and there are a lot of little things to really look at, and Twilight has a brother, great. <laughs> I think I think it would have been more of an impact to me of her brother being about to get married if I would had confirmation that she had a brother to begin with. <laughs> Remember how I said I would have loved that two seconds of her leaving and uh, her brother was right there and she was leaving off the Ponyville. I would have loved to see that because I would have known he existed and would have been like, oh my god, Twilight brothers 
about to get married. But, eh, we were introduced to both a full sitter and a brother, which were both really, really good. Cadence, or Prince Princess Miyamore Cadenza, <laughs> uh, uh, has a great personality with her, and pretty much, now I know why my friend told me to pay attention to the auras that which a uh, unicorn can have when she does magic because uh, like I said I sometimes hate my eyes cuz I pay attention too much in the in the flashback Cadence had blue aura when she did the little love magic spell or whatever you want to call it cuz I know it wasn't a love spell it was probably like a a grief Somebody explain that spell to me, because I'm just currently thinking that it's a love thing. You know, change mindsets, twist them around, and then make it into love. But first, it was blue. It was a blue aura, and now once you do this, when you see older Cadence, she has green aura. So that's a little out of place for my taste. If I saw that happen before on another pony to have a different type of aura, depending on how how their mood is or how much they change, or even if it involves like an alicorn thing. That's why I suspected, but mm, hmm. and Queen Chrysalis. I'm happy we have we finally have a queen in the show. Probably never again, cause she probably hit the ground too hard during that little 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 scuffle. But <laughs> hey, if Team Rocket can survive a fall like that, I think she can too. So <laughs> so. Yeah, the fight scene was incredible. It was like one of the most action-oriented things that I've seen in this series, and <laughs> it was pretty. It was pretty much PG, you know, no ripping out other people's skulls from their heads and stuff like that. But it, it, it was enjoyable to watch. I got a pure nostalgia vibe of Powerpuff Girl type fighting in that, especially with the ending when they did the little silhouette thing. So, yeah. Two things I'm disappointed in. One, Luna. Where, where was she? Where was she? She said, hey, everybody, what did I miss? <laughs> where was she during the, the wedding itself? What, she was too tired or something like that? Because she's supposed to sleep in the daytime. I, I'm, I, I know that much. So once night rolls around, she came by. And, you know, you could have, like, peeked up a bit and just helped your sister out. Because your sister is apparently one of the weakest alicorns I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Not downgrading... Celestia, but seriously, when I saw her about to show this uh, Swiss cheese uh, hooved uh, wannabe queen Chrysalis <coughs> who the true ruler of this land is and then she just lost. I don't care what people say. I don't care. Oh, since it's Shining Armor's wedding, when it's a wedding, it's like the, the, the height, the pinnacle point of love between two people when you're about to go into a wedding. So, of course, she got a lot of love from Shining, but seriously, enough love from Shining Armor is enough to take out the princess of Equestria. And you can also kind of say, oh, her status as queen also gives her the right to have more power. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. Princess Legend should have won that power struggle. At least, at least have have like this sort of thing. You have a all powerful being versus another rather all powerful being, and with their fighting, it really does nothing. They're at an impasse pretty much. The fighting means nothing. It's also a pretty good to show kids that violence isn't always the answer because sometimes you'll get nowhere with it, and sometimes you have to come out with a compromise, aka the elements of harmony. So a bigger power on that. And I'm actually kind of happy they didn't get the elements of harmony because it shows that there are other ways to defeat a major bad guy without Dale's ex Macarena's here, okay? <laughs> and it was pretty legit how she was beaten. She, uh, her arrogance, pretty much like Discord's arrogance got the better of her and didn't even try to like put them in the gooey thing that that she put uh, Celestia in and which led to her downfall which the power of love uh, blasted her off into the stratosphere so <laughs> yeah uh, a few things I want to point out though did I don't know if my eyes were tricking me a bit but did I see the great and powerful Trixie in the wedding I didn't want to point it out at first because I thought I would be wrong, but just like confirm, yeah, confirm that for me, guys. I thought I saw the great and powerful Trixie attend the wedding of a person that she herself claims it doesn't really like as much. But 
you know, it's a wedding. Maybe she was just trying to crash the party. <laughs> um... Yeah, anything else? The songs. Oh, God. The songs. They're incredible. Now, I know I said Smile was my favorite song, and it still is, but uh, uh, the, the song where uh, Cadence, I'm going to call it This Day was going to be perfect or whatnot. The, the Cadence, th This Day was the best song in the series. In, like, a all standpoint, I would say This Day is the best song in the series, but Smile, Pinkie Pie's song, will stay my favorite song. Because, come on, if you listen to that song, you don't have a smile on your face. I mean, the reason why I like This Day so much, because it had one of my favorite tropes. If it's one thing I love about songs is how it can go very, very high and very, very low on different viewpoints. The, the Changeling Cadence, or we'll just say Chrysalis, Chrysalis part was edgy. It had a beat to it of, of of bass and whatnot. And as for Cadence, it had more of a subtle vibe to it. And really, it was it, it fell along perfectly, and it's a great song. I wouldn't be surprised if I, a lot of you guys have like as your ringtone or have it on your phone just to listen to to begin with, because it's that good of a song. Uh, uh, Big Brother, Best Friend Forever was also a good tune. It pretty much shows like the value of of uh. Uh, kinship or whatever siblings and there was another oh love is in bloom i'll call it uh i like to call songs whatever the first thing i hear out of it is but uh love is in bloom was a pretty good i would say it's a throwaway song because it was not because it is the song it's one of those songs that they, they, that they know that they're singing and it was good but yeah anything else to really talk about Besides this being one of the greatest uh, finals, uh, finales that I, I've seen. And I still got two more. <laughs> two more and a movie, apparently. So, <laughs> I have to get to those. So, I'm done with season two. I'll get into season three as, I would say as soon as possible, but I got a let's play to do now, don't I, guys? Okay. Uh, hmm. If I missed anything, I guess I'm gonna put it in the video of which I will, you know, how I did a, a season three, a season one overall review and my hopes for season two. I'm gonna do that probably after this, maybe, and give off my thoughts of the entirety of the series. See if it was better than the first series. Did it improve on certain things? Did I get what I asked for in my in my last video? And I'll do that and then do my expectations for season three. Anyway, guys, this is Do You Want a Bit of Brony, and I'll see you guys later.